years ago now, I started to look at the cognitive problems in depression. And one of the main reasons for this was I was working in old age and I was looking obviously at dementia. And uh, we now know that frequently depression is a hallmark for uh, dementia. But I was also studying people who had depression and had recurring bouts of depression. And intriguingly, they used to think of um, depression as a pseudo-dementia. So for instance, they were aware that some of these patients were having cognitive problems, but they really weren't being measured very objectively. And so I started to use CANTAD to measure these um, cognitive problems that they were having uh, so I could get a good objective measure and also understand the range of problems that people were having who had depression. So this was in the elderly and we found interestingly that some of these cognitive problems reversed when people got better from the depression but some of them remained. So this idea of these problems being completely reversible did not seem to be the case because we now know that even on uh, remission from depression some of these um, cognitive problems uh, still exist. So after looking at it in the elderly, I then went on to look at it in uh, middle-aged depression. And we found that also um, there were cognitive problems in these patients. So using the CANTAB tests, we were able to assess um, concentration and attention, uh, different forms of executive function, and memory problems. And across this whole range, we found that there were deficits in patients with depression. Now we knew that these would impact on their work functioning. So these problems are very important and they do represent a target for treatment. And I very much hope that the FDA and the EMA begin to recognize cognitive problems in depression as a target for treatment in the same way that they now recognize cognitive problems in schizophrenia as a target for treatment. Because it's very important if we're going to restore people's ability to function and have a good quality of life and continue doing their normal daily activities that these are, are restored.